Hey everyone, welcome back to my ministry. I'm your host, Nurse uh, Lois. Listen, I was so blessed today. Um, I had an opportunity to speak to um, um, a coworker, uh, someone that I've been working with, uh, you know, for um, for years on and off, and I received the most uh, blessed, blessed testimony. Um, my coworker said to me, she said, Lois you have always been different uh, people have always said lois is real different she's so different she's not like you know she's not like us and she says even when you were going through negative situations uh on your job you carried yourself in such a way she says that i just admire you and those words just went so deep into my heart and it made me feel so good that I stayed and remained uh, in the fruit of the spirit during uh, difficult uh, times when the enemy was gunning for me uh, in the workplace. You know, um, people will find all kinds of excuses to target you and completely ignore the demons that they have inside of them. Um, and I knew that God sent me to specific workplaces. You know, I, I work where God tells me to go. And so I know not to move and to stand firm and to see uh, the salvation um, of my God. So, you know, when I come on my ministry platform and I tell you or I instruct you, I give you the tools for how to defeat the enemy, how not to be ran off your job and how, how to deal with demons and people in the workplace and, and all of that. It's because I know everything that I pretty much have put out on my ministry platform, baby, I didn't walk the route it. Okay. Um, and so you have to learn how to, you know, fight the good fight of faith. And God has been faithful. God has handed me, baby, tools, okay? He wasn't playing with me. He handed me some tools on how to handle uh, demonic uh, people, people who are possessed by demons, okay? And and I handled it. And it, was, it felt so good that my light shined so bright that it made a difference um, in people's uh, lives. So, listen, just be encouraged, Um if you're in the workplace and what came to me to say to you is i'm so different ain't nobody gonna invite me to no uh epstein perverted island they're not gonna invite me because my light is too bright if you if you don't shine bright for god people don't see the light of god in you you'll be up around some some wickedness that's because you're not walking with the lord because nobody's gonna invite you if your light is shining bright they're not gonna invite you to a perverted island they're not going to invite you to an orgy party. They're not going to invite you to a drug infested party. Okay. They're not going to do that because your light is bright. So just be encouraged in that area. And then I wanted to show you too why I am so different. I'm so different and I know I'm different. And I praise God that I'm different and that I am a child of the most high God. I thank God for that. Uh, because when I pray blind eyes open when i give a command to uneven legs the short limb will grow okay when i tell a crooked spine to line itself up the crooked spine is not uh crooked anymore it gets straight and lines up when somebody comes to me with a, a broken neck and i pray for them god immediately he connects every vertebrae every bone every tendon in the name of jesus i know i'm different I'm different. I'm glad I'm different. I'm glad I'm the daughter of the Most High God. And with that being said, I want to show you this book. It's called The Book of Jubilee. I want to show that to you. Okay. Um, your girls see God for real, for real. I don't have step. I want to know my God for real, for real. And in the book of Jubilees, a lot of Jewish people have this book. It has additional information about... Uh, the Garden of Eden and how Adam and Eve had uh, children and the names of the daughters, okay? And who married who, okay? 
there's information that you need to put together with your Bible so that you could put all the pieces parts together. That's why over the weekend I sent you the additional information about the Torah, the Kamish, you know, uh, where uh, you can see in the Torah where there were more than the 10 plagues. There was a there was a plague of the wild beast where wild beast came out. That didn't make it in the translation in the uh, King James version of the Bible. I have a close walk with God. I want to know God for real, for real. I don't want to half know God. That's not cool. That's that's not cute. Not knowing God. You know, I see God with my whole heart, my soul, and my mind. I want to know how many kids Adam and Eve had. I want to know what their names were. We all know about Cain and Abel, but do you know the daughter's name? Did you know he had? they had more children? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So this is Prophetess Nurse Lois coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Be different. Be God's son. Be God's daughter. Know your father for real, for real. Don't half step with God. Okay? This is Prophetess Nurse Lois coming to you from Lois Banks Ministry. God bless you.